GTC. Stand up. We're in the building, guys. Today, we're going to talk about week nine top performers. Okay? So let's get right into it. So last night, you know, we saw Joe Burrow come out and dismantle the Bills again. Okay? Again. Joe Cool came out there looking like it was no problem, no issues, no nothing. Like he ain't missed a beat. Okay? I don't know what's going with his calf. I kept thinking it was torn or something. They kept they on the sideline. They showed him with a with a heating pad and a massager on his calf. Something's going on with the calf, but obviously it is feeling better, guys. It's obviously feeling better. Let me give you a rundown on what Joe Bur what Joe Burrow surgically did <laughs> to the Bills. All right, that man was thirty one of forty four, three hundred and forty eight yards passing. Two tutties, a goose egg on interceptions. His passer rating was 108.9. All right. That man was out there slinging dime after dime after time after time against that against that uh Buffalo Bills secondary. They didn't have no nothing for that boy. For Burrow, Chase, Higgins, and T. Higgins had a had a nice had a nice game. Okay. But they didn't have nothing for they didn't have nothing for Joe Burrow yesterday. He was out there like he was just sitting in the pocket, being as they call him Joe Cool, the guy with the cigar in his mouth. Joe Cool. Joe Burrow was out there looking like, what y'all got for me? This is all y'all got for me? Oh, that's all y'all got? I'm gonna eat this up. He ate that up. That, and that's exactly what Joe Burrow did. He went out there and he ate that up, man. He ate that up. Give me that. Give me that. That's what he did to Buffalo, y'all. It was sad, man. It was very sad. I thought Buffalo had a chance to, 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 to compete, but I was sadly mistaken, man. Joe Cool went out there, and he put Belta ass to the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen, and he dismissed, um, is he better than Josh Allen? Is Josh Allen better than him? Guys, hands down, Joe Burrow is better than Josh Allen, okay? Josh Allen might got a bit a stronger arm than Joe Burrow, but that is it. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. That is it, okay? When it comes to being under pressure, playing under pressure, you don't see Joe Burrow throwing picks. You see Josh Allen doing that. Okay? It's no question or no debate anymore, guys. Um, it's definitely Joe Cool. He is the better of the two quarterbacks. No secret, no if and buts about it. Debate over with. Done. The next top performer, man, we got two in one game because this game was this game was was on fire. OK, so the the, the first top performer we're going to get into because I take a lot of flack because people think that I got something against Dak Prescott. I got something against any quarterback who's not performing. OK, who's getting paid to perform and you're not performing. I got anything against that. I have slandered my quarterback. You see this, Chiefs? I have slandered my quarterback. Go look at my channel, okay? You will see. I've said bad things about Mahomes, okay? So stop stop with this, oh, he's biased. No, no, no. I get on everybody. Everybody. I treat everybody the same. If your quarterback is doing great, guess what? He going to be on top performance. Guess who's on top performance today, y'all? Even though the Dallas Cowboys lost, Dakota Rain Prescott showed his black naked you-know-what, okay? He got up there and he showed out, y'all. He did everything he could to get that win. That man did everything. You can't blame nothing on Dak. Not this game, okay? And some of the other big game performances, you, you might be able to throw some, some shade at Dak. But this game, Dak is a top performer, even though they got the L. Dak is still a top performer because that man showed up. He showed out. He did everything he was supposed to do. That man was 29 of 44, 374 yards, three tutties, goose egg on the INTs, y'all. This man's pass rate was 115.2. What else you need from Dak? What else do you need from Dak, y'all? What else can Dak do, baby? What else can Dak do? 
That did everything he's supposed to do. In, in a normal scenario, that gets you the W. That gets you the W, man. Dak would have got you the W. And even, even though Dallas lost, at the end of the game, they still were in it. They still had a chance to get the W. And that's all because of Dak. Let's not get it twisted. That was because of Dak. Okay? That was because of Dak and his performance. That boy was out there throwing that thing, man. You can't, you cannot take it from him, man. That boy went out there and performed, okay? He performed. Dak, okay, Dak did his thing, man. Dak went out there mooning, folks. He told him, you can kiss my <laughs> let me show you something. Okay? He went out there and he he performed, y'all. You can't take it from him. Dak did his job, okay? Dak did his job. I don't want to hear nothing about nothing else. Dak did his job, and he did it well. Top performer, Dak Prescott. Let's not play no games. The next one, we got to go in that same game. Jalen Hurts, okay? Jalen Hurts did not throw the ball as much as he did, but when he did throw the ball, he protected that, he protected that thing, man, and he was very efficient. And Jalen Hurts got hurt with his knee, all right? So that affects your throwing, your accuracy, your precision. That 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 affects everything when your legs are hurt and you got to step back, drop back, stand, plant, and throw that thing, okay? He was 17 of 23 for 207 yards, two tutties, goose egg on your, on your INTs, 130.2 passer rating. That means he was getting it done, okay? He was getting it done, all right? With, with with limited things because A.J. Brown didn't really have a great game, okay? He had a touchdown, but A.J. Brown didn't show up like he normally did. Look at what look at what Dak and C.D. did. C.D. got off, okay? Let's not get it twisted. C.D. got off too, all right? C.D. Lamb, top performer. You got to give it to him. But why was he such a top performer? Because of Dak Prescott. Let's not get it twisted, okay? Your receiver can be great. Your receiver can be awesome, but he needs that quarterback to throw him that ball. And Dak delivered. C.D. Lamb, that man had 11, uh, 11 receptions on 16 targets, 191 yards, okay? Somebody had to get him that. That was Dakota. That was Dak, okay? That was Dak. That's why I'm telling y'all, man. Dak showed his ass. Stop faking. Dak showed his ass, all right? Let's not get it twisted. Like I said, when hey, when your quarterback is, is blossoming and he's doing his thing, you gotta give him his flowers, you gotta give him his props. And I'm not a hater. We're gonna we're gonna celebrate the guys that's doing what they supposed to do. And that's just the end of it. Bottom line, we ain't got to do no faking. Next, we gotta go to a young guy. A young guy, man, a rookie who ain't playing like a rookie. All right. He playing better than 90% of the guys in the NFL, including Mahomes. My guy, C.J. Stroud, C.J. Stroud, that boy balled out, man. That boy balled out, man. He broke a record for a rookie, man. That boy balled out, man. Houston, y'all got y'all quarterback. Go get that man some weapons. Go get that man. Some, go get that man just some weapons, okay? He doing it with nothing. Go get that man some weapons. O.M.G. Do y'all not listening? C.J. Stroud, who I told everybody was better than Bryce Young. Nobody wanted to hear it because Bryce Young came from Alabama. He come from a pro style and this and that and the third. Ohio State, they don't run a pro offense. They got some They got some this and they got some that. Listen, C.J. Stroud was the better of the two. And I told everybody. Nobody wanted to hear it. C.J. Stroud yesterday, guys. 30 of 42. 470 yards. Let me say that again. 470 yards. Okay? Five touchdowns, a big goose egg, like the Oregon Duck, a, a big goose egg, okay, on INTs, 147.8 passer rating. That mean that boy was sitting out there, he was basically throwing that thing and handing it off to the receiver because that's how accurate he was. That boy was out there slanging that pill for five tutties, five tutties, y'all, five tutties, okay? C.J. Stroud, we can't let, come on now. Come on now, C.J. Stroud, y'all. Yes, the rookie. He playing better than 90% of all the quarterbacks we didn't talk about today. All right? C.J. Stroud doing that. Balling out, y'all. Balling. C.J. Stroud, y'all. C.J. Stroud. Balling. 
for sure. All right. Last but not least, guys, we got to talk about the Kansas City Chiefs defense. Balling. Yeah, the Kansas City Chiefs defense. Balling. Okay. The number one offense and scoring. The Chiefs defense shut them out. Goose egg. Big goose egg for the whole first half. Tyreek Hill, bump it, bump, bump it, bump. Oh, I'm going to give him that work. I'm going to give him that work. Tyreek Hill got worked over. Got worked over. 62 yards. A fumble. They got returned for a tutty. Okay? That de that defense shut him down. Shut him down. Shut Waddle down. Shut Miami down. I don't want to hear no more about Tyreek Hill and what he's going to do. All right? Bowling! That Chiefs defense. Yes, sir. GTC, man. What say you? What y'all think about the top performance, man? Who y'all like? Who y'all think I missed on far as our top performance, man? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Holla at your boy, man. I'm out.